Hey guys, welcome to another, another video. I really appreciate you joining today. Today I want to talk about the shirt I'm wearing. This is a Rabbit EZT. Rabbit is a uh, fairly new running clothing brand that's out of California. Uh, they make a higher end materials. Uh, their, most of their gear is a bit more on the expensive side, but it is very nice. They sell shirts, uh, technical shirts, technical shorts, jackets, uh, all kinds of running apparel. This uh, EZT is made of, I think, 93% um, polyester and, or 94% polyester, 6% uh, spandex in it. It's a really neat blend because it's extremely soft and comfortable. Uh, it's like butter my bread stuff. It is just super soft and comfortable. Uh, I actually bought this through my running store, Trailhead Running Supply, and we've got several of these logo tees that we sell. Uh, we sell it for the same price as uh, Rabbit normally sells these shirts. They at $55. Really enjoyed the cut of them. Um, because of my arm length and my shoulder width, my body is normally I could wear a large, but I end up getting like an extra large. Well, these are nicely cut and tapered down, but, but they're stretchy enough to where if you have more girth, they're still going to fit you. Uh, anyway, I find them extremely comfortable. This, uh, this particular shirt comes in a lot of different colors. Um, you can buy rabbit gear at run, runinrabbit.com. Uh, we also sell them on the trail, Trailhead Running Supply store, uh, but most of the ones that we sell are logoed for the EZT. We have some of their other shirts, which are not shirts and jackets, which are not logoed. We also carry a lot of their shorts and uh, tights. But uh, this is the Run and Rabbit. They sell both men's and women's collections. Very nice clothing. Uh, I'm I'm impressed with it. I have run in this thing in the upper 30s and in the into the 50s, and uh, I was comfortable both times. It's a uh, when I ran into it in the upper 30s, I, I wore it without anything else on, and I found myself still comfortable enough. It still was uh, warm enough for that. I think I could run in it till, till probably about 30 degrees. At that point, I would probably want to layer something else. Uh, I would still find this being so extremely comfortable and wicking, I would probably wear it as a base layer at that point. And I think uh, I probably don't really want to wear it much beyond uh, being in the 50 plus degree category or it would get warm running uh, but but it breathes pretty well uh, I'm gonna also wear it as a casual shirt I'm gonna wear it to work some uh, at the running store so it's probably gonna be you know 70 degrees in the building but it, it still won't be hot because this thing breathes well it'll be good I just wouldn't run in it at 70 plus degrees but uh, anyway I'm enjoying it it's, it's so buttery soft and comfortable I'm, I'm really enjoying the shirt uh, if you can see it is pretty well tapered it fits your body well but it, it would stretch and still be tapered and fit well for people that are uh, larger than myself um, anyway I'm really enjoying the shirt so far I just thought you might find it interesting um, I'll put links down below for runninrabbit.com or and for trailhead running supply where I bought my shirt but uh, just thought you might find it interesting. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the thumbs up, the like button. If you're interested in more con my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And other than that, uh, get out there and keep moving.